Welcome to Celebrities Then and Now. In today's video, we're taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane to catch up with 20 actors who once graced our screens and have since faded from the spotlight. Ever wondered what happened to your favorite stars from the past? Join us as we uncover where these forgotten actors are now, exploring their lives after fame and the surprising paths they've taken. Stay tuned for an exciting journey into the lives of these former celebrities. George Owen Gore I.I. George Owen Gore I.I., born on December 15, 1982, is an American actor and comedian known for his roles in popular TV series such as New York Undercover 1994-1998 and My Wife and Kids 2001-2005. Gore began his acting career at a young age, making his debut in the 1992 film Juice his breakthrough role came with his portrayal of Gregory G. Williams in the crime drama series New York Undercover. Despite his success in the 1990s and early 2000s, Gore's career began to decline in the mid-2000s. He took on several minor roles in films and television but struggled to find the same level of success as before. Since the 2010s, Gore has been less active in the entertainment industry, appearing in a few web series and independent films but not landing any major roles. Currently, he resides in Los Angeles, California. Karen Parsons Rockwell Karen Parsons Rockwell, born on October 8, 1966, is an American actress, author, and comedian best known for her role as Hilary Banks on the NBC sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air from 1990 to 1996. After the show ended in 1996, Parsons took a break from acting to focus on writing and film production. She created the children's animated series Sweet Blackberry, which tells the stories of lesser-known black heroes in history. In the early 2000s, Parsons returned to acting with a few supporting roles in films and television, but she did not achieve the same level of success as before. Currently, Karen Parsons resides in Los Angeles, California, with her husband and two children. She remains active in writing and film production continuing her work with Sweet Blackberry and other creative projects. What do you think about changes in celebrities over time? Please press the subscribe button to support your idol. You and your family will have lots of health and luck. Francisco Muniz IV Francisco Muniz IV, known by his stage name Frankie Muniz, was born on December 5, 1985. He is an American actor renowned for his role as Malcolm in the hit Fox sitcom Malcolm in the hit Fox sitcom Malcolm in the middle 2000 to 2006, which earned him an Emmy nomination and two Golden Globe nominations. In the early 2000s, Muniz was one of Hollywood's most prominent young stars, establishing himself as one of the most successful child actors of all time. However, by the late 2000s, Muniz's acting career began to decline, and he faded from the public eye. In 2008, he announced his retirement from acting to focus on a professional racing career. Muniz returned to acting in 2011, but without achieving his previous success, mainly participating in independent films and lesser-known TV shows. Beyond acting, Muniz has ventured into music, business, and racing. He currently resides in Arizona with his wife and son. Phoebe Belcates Klein Phoebe Belcates Klein, born on July 16, 1963, is an American actress known for her roles in films such as Fast Times at Ridgemont High Gremlins 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 2, The New Batch Drop Dead Fred and Princess Caribou. Cates began her acting career in the early 1980s with her breakthrough role as Linda Barrett in the 1982 coming-of-age comedy Fast Times at Ridgemont High. However, in the early 1990s, her acting career started to slow down. She appeared in less prominent films such as Drop Dead Fred 1991 and Princess Caribou 1994. This decline in her career is attributed to a mix of choosing less impactful roles and her decision to focus more on her family. Kate's retired from acting in. The mid-1990s, having married actor Kevin Klein in 1989, with whom she has two children. Currently, she resides in New York City with her husband and children, occasionally making film and TV appearances but primarily dedicating her time to raising her family. Julia Stiles. Julia Stiles is an American actress known for her roles in films such as 10 Things I Hate About You 1999, Save the Last Dance 2001, The Bourne Identity 2002, and the TV series Dexter 2007 to 2013. Despite achieving significant success early in her career, Stiles experienced a period of relative obscurity in the late 2000s and early 2010s. 
This decline can be attributed to several factors including less impactful role choices, shifts in audience preferences, and the emergence of new young stars. In recent years, however, Styles has made a notable comeback with acclaimed roles in films like The Silver Linings Playbook, 2012 and TV series such as Orphan Black 2013 to 2017 and Riviera 2017 present. Currently, Julia Stiles resides in New York City with her husband and son. She continues to act in both film and television while also engaging in charitable activities. Justin Guarini. Justin Guarini, born on October 28, 1978, is an American singer, songwriter, and actor. He rose to fame as the runner-up on the first season of American Idol in 2002. Following his Idol success, Guarini signed a recording contract with RCA Records and released his debut album, The Justin Guarini Album, in 2003, which reached number 16 on the Billboard 200 chart. Despite this initial success, Guarini's career began to decline after his debut album. He failed to release any commercially successful albums and took on roles in lesser-known films and television shows. By the early 2010s, Guarini had faded from the public eye. Currently, he resides in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Guarini continues his music career releasing independent albums and performing live. He is also a voice actor, having appeared in several video games and animated films. Additionally, Guarini is an entrepreneur owning a music production company and a real estate business. Chad Michael Murray. Chad Michael Murray, an American actor, author, and model, gained fame portraying Lucas Scott in the popular teen drama One Tree Hill, 2003 to 2009, 2012, along with recurring roles in Gilmore Girls, 2000 to 2001, Dawson's Creek, 2001, Dawson's Creek, 2001 to 2002, and Riverdale, 2019. Despite his success with One Tree Hill, Murray's career experienced a decline post-2012, marked by struggles to secure significant television roles and appearing in box office disappointments. However, recent years have seen a resurgence in his career. He landed leading roles in successful TV series like Chosen 2013 to 2014 and Sun Records 2017, along with a recurring role in the hit Fox series Star 2018 to 2019. Currently residing in Wilmington, North Carolina, Chad Michael Murray is married to actress Sarah Romer, and they share three children. Despite challenges, Murray's career continues to evolve, demonstrating his resilience and versatility in the entertainment industry. Matthew Fox Matthew Fox, an American actor, rose to fame for his roles as Charlie Salinger in Lost 2004 to 2010 and Michael Petrelli in Heroes 2006 to 2010. However, despite this success, his career took a downturn in the early 2010s. Following the conclusion of Heroes in 2010, Fox's appearances were limited to a few films like I, Alex Cross 2012 and Bone in the White 2015, none of which achieved commercial success. Additionally, his reputation suffered a blow in 2012 when he was arrested for driving under the influence, resulting in a suspended sentence and mandatory alcohol addiction treatment. This incident tarnished his image and made it difficult for him to revive his Hollywood career. Since 2015, Fox has been absent from the entertainment industry, reportedly living quietly on his Oregon farm, away from the spotlight. Josh Radnor Josh Radnor, born on July 29, 1974, is a versatile American actor, filmmaker, author, and musician, best known for his portrayal of Ted Mosby in the beloved CBS sitcom How I Met Your Mother 2005-2014. Despite the show's success, Radner's career faced a lull after its conclusion in 2014, with his film projects failing to garner significant attention. Critics attributed this to his association with the iconic Ted Mosby character, making it challenging for him to break free from typecasting. However, Radner made a remarkable resurgence in 2020 with his role as Lonnie Flash in the Amazon Prime video series Hunters. Alongside acting, he continues to explore his passion for music as part of the band Radner Lee. Additionally, Radnor has ventured into writing and directing independent films, such as Liberal Arts 2012 and Cherry Bomb 2017. Currently residing in New York City, Josh Radnor remains a multi-talented figure in the entertainment industry. Nev Adrienne Campbell Nev Adrienne Campbell, born on October 3, 1973, is a versatile Canadian actress acclaimed for her performances across various genres. She has notably excelled in horror and slasher films, earning the title of Scream Queen and becoming an iconic figure in popular culture. Despite her success in these genres, Campbell has also demonstrated her talent in comedic and dramatic roles. 
As one of the highest paid and most successful actresses in horror, Campbell's films have collectively grossed over $2 billion worldwide. Her journey began in the early 1990s with roles in Canadian television films. However, it was her breakout role in the 1996 horror classic Scream that propelled her to stardom. Following the peak of Scream, Campbell faced a slowdown in her career in the 2000s. Nevertheless, she persisted, honing her skills through acting classes and seeking new opportunities, ultimately reclaiming her prominence in the entertainment industry. Today, Nev Campbell remains an influential figure, continuing to captivate audiences with her talent and versatility. Sincere thanks to all the loyal viewers who have watched this entire video. If you enjoyed this content and would like to show your support, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends. Your support truly means a lot to us. Stay tuned for more interesting then and now stories coming soon. Until next time.